Hey there, how was doing? This is Kali from Tech Fanciers. So in this video, we will be taking a look at latest AOSP Vanilla. In this AOSP Vanilla, it is version 115 comes with Android 9.0 with July 5th 2019 security patch. There will be a new or latest build than this as every month updates are made from Fusion. So why AOSP Vanilla? What is the use of this? Well, the answer is pretty simple. This is base or source for all the GSA or custom room development. This is doesn't come with any feature or tweaks. It's simple one on draw feel of Android, pure stock. This would be fine for the introduction. Hence, let's we take a in-depth look on episode number 20. The reason why I have installed it, there are three. One, this one got second big request from you guys. And second, this is the first GSI that I have installed on this device and it is clean. Third, I was having an idea to integrate some Google Pixel features on this, but that was totally a messed up. First, we'll talk little about look and feel. To be honest, there is no specialized look for this one. It is stock, pure stock with no customization. Stock Android boot animation and it shows the screen after that. That's all. I have to mention that I have installed the build which comes with G apps. Earlier, I tried the AOSP alone that comes with no G apps, but open G apps was not working as expected on that but the issue here is it comes with normal super user access so the banking apps like google pay not working it would be grateful if we get aosp non su with g apps included built from phs the main key point of this build is performance as it has no extra features or plugins or whatever it is like animation it's working fine the camera is broken you have to use open camera and G cam on this. Front camera on open camera is not working, but in G cam it is. I would say the initial impression with this was not as impressive as it contains nothing in it, even the necessary apps like browser. So you have to install everything. The default launcher was totally a mess. The fun part is it is showing a gingerbread's Google search widget. So I try to remove it, but it is not so. I switched to CPL. After that, the quick step reasons was not working, so I have installed quick switch. These are some of the things that you might face after installing if you want to try it as a daily driver. While comparing to Havoc OS, it gives less tiers only. I have to admit that. The battery performance is not the best, but it is decent, getting 5 to 4 hours of SOT. Nothing other than this when it comes to talk about advantages now the drawbacks are demerits as always no low audio no audio on calls total breakage in hotspot no front camera working and app background killing these are the base things that doesn't change it it is same for all the or most of the gsi what is extra demerit well there is no feature or required customization like network speed indicator that one I really need when it comes to a custom or device. The dark theme is not entirely dark. It only darkens the status bar, not even in settings. The pre-installed issue, it just ruin your banking experience on your device. So the conclusion, recently I got a chance to have hands on on MIA3 which is Android 1 project and comes with stock Android. It was identically same like AOSP Vanilla. So no changes. Hence if you would like to get the A3 view then try AOSP Vanilla on your device. But just getting it is same. You can try just for the sake of trying. There is nothing or no in the improvement. So that's what about the in-depth look on AOSP Vanilla so after that we will be switching to AEX so before that I have some work on Zen UI so we'll go by flow and videos will be coming 
soon so thank you for watching and leave a like if you like enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this so quote motto